Hello everybody, Andrew here. We are back at the Ocean Temple. Actually, we're below it. Last time, we we ended down here below where the beacon is. We're working on our slime farm. And we've we've been making progress. I, I'd, I'd say we've, we've made uh, a, a fair amount of progress. Take a look. We've uh, got a lot... Oh, I had a little bit of gravel here. Okay. We uh making making some headway. We've got uh got a lot of area cleared out. You can see here's the the drop shoot for the guardians as they're falling to their death. Move some chests down here uh, cuz just you know, a lot of blocks being uh, cleared out and and some of the stuff, the the andesite, diorite, the granite, uh, the the resources. We wanted to hold on to all of that plus cobble and whatnot. We never know where that's going to come uh come in handy so but let me show you where we're at because uh, last time the idea was to open up the chunk over there the chunk there and then the chunk here and then so that gives us three and then uh, three more here and three more over there giving us a total of nine well as they say all good plans of mice and men are about equal um, yeah, it didn't work out so well over on this side. As we started opening this up, you know, we're having a good old time. And, you know, we've got, here's the here's the, the little transport for the items as they, you know, hit the hoppers out of the, the guardians. They you know, come along here and they go in, in there into the glass uh, item elevator and head on up. Well, we uh, we have a little bit of an issue over on this side there's a lot of lava over here so we're I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna nix the idea of these these guys over here these chunks on this side and we may just stick with the chunks over on this side and uh, we'll just see how that goes so yeah that's where we're at I am gonna get back to mining all these blocks out and uh, We'll be back with a progress update when I've made more progress. All right, well, back in a bit. Hey everybody, we're back. A little progress update. Uh, I'm still working on clearing out the area uh, for our slime farm, but as I'm clearing it out, look at what I got. We have so oh hello, we have slimes that are spawning in. So we are definitely on the right track here. Definitely on the right track. Oh oh hey hello Mr. Zombie, shoot yeah. you in the face. Look at that, two of them right there. Outstanding. So, uh, we're clearing this out, making progress, but we'll, uh, we got more to do. So, I'll be back in a minute. Hello, everybody. And look, we have yet another slime coming to visit. So, we, in the last, and I swear this was just not five minutes after the last two that we just saw. So, slimes are starting to appear in here. Uh, I think this is going to be an amazing slime farm. I think we're well on our way here. Let me just give you a little little peek. You can see up in there, got that all cleared out. So now all I need to do is just clear out this middle section and then just start working it back and uh, finishing out over here. So slimes are appearing. We're almost there uh, as far as clearing it out. And then we can start putting in our, our spawn pads. Yeah, it's going well. So I'll be back in a bit. Hey everybody, we are back one more time with a progress report. I'm just putting away the last of the blocks here. Oh, we are full up on that chest. We have collected a lot of blocks. I tell you, it's been it's been uh, a number of uh, it's been a couple hours digging this out, and 
here we are. This thing is completely dug out all the way. This is uh, two blocks below what you see up there in the park. So you've got the actual, the dirt level that you walk around on with all the grass and flowers and everything. And then the this uh, stone level or layer right here below it. So uh, because uh, I believe right over here is where the pond is and right there is the water fountain. So, but this thing is completely dug out. Uh, I do have a couple of holes to fill. We've got, uh, looks like a little, uh, little cave over there, a couple of cave entrances here. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll fill these things in uh, to try to limit the, the spawnability of the, the slimes inside those caves, just to give us a little better advantage uh, of sliming, slimes uh, spawning in here. All right, so that's where we're at now, and we, um, uh, I think so what they said, we're just going to get set and ready to go for the next step, and we'll be back as we uh, make progress. Hey, everybody, and we are back. I've got some progress to report for you here on our slime farm. As you can see, I have begun making the water channels the walls anyway for the water channels around the room. I've clean, clean, <laughs> I have uh, put blocks in here. I have closed this area off, uh, except for back here. I'm leaving that open for right now so I can get around uh, at the time being. Now, I have, I have been going over this a couple of times. I, I built a bunch and I tore it all out. And the reason is because most slime farms that I have seen are typically maybe like one chunk. So they have a platform in the center, uh, you know, going like three, four platforms up. They've got this, the, the water around the edge, and it goes off into, uh, into a lava blade. And they collect some kind of a collection type of thing. Uh, I've seen others where they use water and signs and they drown them and, and whatnot. I I'm going the lava blade uh, direction. Well, the problem I ran into is that this thing is so big, um, well, the Minecraft water physics started to come into play. So after building and tearing down and building and tearing down, what I, uh, what I ended up with is going with not one, but four lava blades. So I am going to put one right here, put one there, uh, one here and then one back over here on behind this pillar but that way I could put a a water source in each of the corners and it will drive the or push the slimes into one of these these four and then I'm going to run the hoppers in the little the little holes that you see there and uh, on each of these there's the, the little gaps there and then there's going to be hoppers that are going to run all the way across the floor and they're going to all tie together somewhere around here, somewhere in here. And then I'll run that hopper chain over to the, the hopper collection system underneath where the guardians fall. So these, these four collection points, and there's going to be another one over here, uh, they'll get tied into that. And then any slime balls will get uh, shuttled over to the item elevator and, and on up uh, to our, our collection system. That's where we're at, and I'll be back in a little bit. Hey, everybody. We're back for another quick update. As you can see, we've got the water flows in all around. I've got some lava blades already going. I've got some lava in my hand as we are going to put in this last of the four lava blades. I figured I'd uh, do this right here on camera. You can see all I'm doing is putting... The, the lava here, using the signs to have a little bit of a blade come sticking out, and the water streams will push the slimes down. And I know I don't have the water going over top of the hoppers, but I figure the water stream will push the big slimes in, they'll get burned up, then you got the medium slimes, and they'll get burned up. But these guys, they're constantly hopping and moving. They'll get hit by the lava blade, and they'll get consumed, and their drops will go into the hoppers. Um, so, eh, like I said, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that is going to work. So, you can also see here that the hopper chains 
are hooked up from the four the four lava blades uh, well the beacons in the way of that one uh, but you can see here that uh, you know all four are hooked up uh, I just ran the hopper chain underneath this guy there was enough room for me to to duck down underneath there and, and, and bring them across without having to, to move the beacon and then over here in this one the hoppers right here right underneath this middle block uh, I ran the hoppers right across and into it actually goes down one and then across and then it hooks up to the hoppers that are in there so anything that drops into any of these ho four hopper collection areas in front of the blades will go through these these hopper chains and get collected up the item elevator and into our sorting system over there so that is this thing all hooked up now and the last thing that needs to be done it's a big one but the last thing needs to be done is now fill in this area I don't necessarily fill it in but at least make it so that it's not spawnable and then put in the first layer uh, right at the top of this guy here and then we go up three blocks and then we put in another layer and go up three blocks and put in another layer now this little area right over here I figure what I'm gonna do is pretty much fill that guy in because it's a small little block area over there and I have some glass and I figure I'll put glass over the top uh, of that right there making that uh, not spawnable um, and then glass are there so you can hop down in there uh, if we need to uh, I'll leave a little uh, like one block wide thing to, that allow us to, to go down if I need to ever get at the 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 little the little chute that conveys the items uh, if something ever happens but I, I don't think it will unless there's some server update patch that breaks things that's about the only reason I need to get in there so so I am gonna get to get to work on on that part and we'll be back again with another update hey everybody we are back with another update and we've made a lot of progress check this out let me climb up the ladder here look give us a bird's eye view as you can see the entire floor here has been put in now also down below I've put in a layer of slabs so that you can see the hitbox there that we're on the the bottom slabs if you will and mobs should not spawn down here uh, whatsoever I've also gone and I know met last, uh, last uh, sorry about that my phone just rang but uh, anyway as I was saying last update uh, I was talking about how stop bouncing that we I didn't have the water flowing over here well I went and changed that and I added a couple extra blocks on either end and I did this all the way around so now the water completely co covers the the hoppers uh, on from both sides so that should no longer be a factor I just I didn't like leaving it uncovered like that reason is I happen to I, I did get a skeleton to spawn down here uh, as I was putting the lights in and, and whatnot it was dark enough in one of the corners and he pops in uh, knocked him off and he landed in the water stream and I just watched him go by and because this area right here was not uh, covered by the water he he was able to kind of skirt around the lava blade and he just kind of hung out right there and then eventually he jumps up in in, in here and it was like ah, okay all right all right I got to do something about that so I went around and fixed that on all four sides uh, as you can see so we've got water now covering all all four of them so that's that's taken care of I also as you noticed the chests here are gone I moved all the supplies up to the temple level way up there so uh, so those are those are out of here now so the only thing I have left to do down here in the bottom is to cover in these these little little eight right here I just left that open as I was putting the, the lights in so I could get down below and pick up blocks that finished. that's where we're at I just need to get these levels these layers in so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go take care of these guys I'm gonna finish the layers and we'll be back uh, when we're all done with that and I'll show you the progress all right back in a bit now greetings to the world vice of the one big gangzilla alongside Skrillex Semphonor Owee Awo 
Mash up the place, turn up the bass and make them all have fun. How we a blaze the fire, make it fun them. We mash up the place, turn up the bass and make some fun. Why run? And we will end your week just like a Sunday. We mash up the place, turn up the bass and make them all have fun. Skrillex a blaze the fire, make it fun them. We mash up the place, turn up the bass and make some fun. Why run? And we will end your week just like a Sunday. four but one two three four five spawnable areas four slimes completely lit up so that we only get slimes and we've I haven't seen a lot of them in here there's been a lot of slime activity we'll go up up top just a moment and we'll check out and see what our uh, return on investment for this guy is now if you notice I took out the the, the ladder column there and oh and I also opened this up uh, so it's now the whole front is all glass. So if you ever want to come down here and just uh, hang out and watch some French, uh, I guess you would call that uh, fricasseed guardian, you know, barbecued, whatever you want to call it. But I also, so all of these pads, they're all completely covered. Down here, I closed in the four doors or four openings, if you will. Uh, and cover it. I'm leaving the slabs on here so that we don't get uh, uh, a spawnable area down here because then there's no way this anyone can get out and uh, can affect the mob cap and all the rest of that. So, uh, but I wanted to leave it open just in case we needed to get down there for any reason. I could cover that up, but eh, not a big deal. And lastly, down here, uh, well, I should say at least second to last, I went and I opened this up, but I opened it, but then covered it with glass so that you can see the items as they uh, as they 
come in as the guardians when they burn up and drop you'll see the drops go around here all the way over there to the uh, item elevator so uh, I just thought that it was kind of a, a neat touch oh you see one burning there and there goes some drops right there uh, and away they go okay and we go up the stairs here okay and to get back out of here because I took that ladder out I made a stairwell over in this area, a little spiral staircase. And I'm going to leave it open on this uh, this side. You know, we could we could do some, I don't know, fence posts, or maybe we could put glass here or something. But you know what? Sometimes less is... Oh, look, 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 look. There we go. There is a slime popping in right there. Let's watch him. Watch, watch, watch. And burn! Goes into uh, medium slimes, and that guy burned up, and... And so, I, so, so that's working. You can see we are getting slime spawning. They're going. They're filling up. Uh, so let's pop up, back up top here. And I put the the stairwell is right here, just to the side of the guardian uh, uh, spawner pads. Are up here. This is the funnel. They go through the lava, and the stairwell is is right here. So, watch that first step. <laughs> Could be a doozy. But uh, anyway, so. And like I said, the ladder was right here when I closed that back in again. So you can see that's a little Nita tunnel effect there. Okay, so let's head back up to the other, to the stairwell that takes us up top that circles around our item elevator. Head back up. And I moved all of the stuff is right here now. All of our, all the, the materials and everything. So I've got uh, all the cobble. Uh, let's see. Here we've got the, the stone, there is the andesite, diorite, the granite, all that stuff is, uh, I think that we had granite down here. These two are full up, so they're in the second chest here, but the granite were, was a little behind. Uh, then we had some mob drops, some of the, the meat, string, uh, let's see, oh, I picked up a mushroom somehow. Uh, that must have been when I was filling in the caves. Uh, over there, so uh, we'll just pop that in there. Uh, we'll put this drop here. I've got the, the extra picks that I brought over and some other other materials. I'll uh, we'll just put all this stuff, uh, put this stuff away. So, and we'll check. I put, like I said, we've got the slime is now integrated into our uh, sorting system, and let's take a look drum roll please da, 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 da. and oh look at that look at that so it is producing pretty good so the time that I've been uh, built oh, and there one just popped right in you just saw that so in, in the time that I've been building we've got two almost three complete stacks and I just filled these others in it's eh, something I've started doing I actually kind of like it so that's how much slime has been produced so far. So it, it is it is working. It is working. I am very pleased with that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm liking it. It was a lot of effort to put this together. It was uh, over several days worth of work, but I think it I think it's uh, I think it's worked out. I think we got a good ROI on that. So now we've got our shards, our crystals. We've got a, a lot of fish it's it's producing and then we've got our slimes are producing and then these two are basically for all of the the crafted blocks we just uh, we'll just throw them in here so I've got the prismarine the prismarine uh, bricks as you see and then the dark prismarine and then figure we got the lanterns over here and then we got some empty chests as uh, as things fill up over time so that's eh, yeah I gotta go repair all my armor and and I got to start trucking a lot of materials back. We'll figure out something to do with all these. Oh, and by the way, just just uh, if you were wondering, all that digging did produce some resources. They, all the we had some some iron. We got some gold. We got a little bit of lapis. Uh, but funny enough, that entire dig only produced seven diamonds. I tell you, my luck with diamonds not that great. But uh, well, we got some, and so I'll take some of the spoils there of our of our dig, along with not that was an empty one, along with maybe some of these other drops, and and I got my supplies, and we'll take a lot of this stuff, and we'll head back to the base.
So, well, I hope you uh, uh, enjoyed this episode. I'm, gonna, I'm going to conclude the slime farm and call it done. I uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the like and or subscribe and uh, leave a comment, leave feedback because these videos are something I enjoy doing, but the more feedback you provide, the better I'll be able to do. So, see ya. Bye-bye.